We're here with South Jordan's finest, the fire department. We're with Reed, our battalion chief, talking about the extrication process and the jaws of life. We have uh, extrication tools, as we call them, or the jaws of life, and the purpose of those tools is to uh, be able to pull uh, or extricate or, or remove uh, patients from a uh, traffic accident or any type of incident where the, the equipment may have been yeah. trapped. We have simple ones where we end up with a door removal and then upwards to where we pull almost the entire car apart. But we probably go on uh, an average of two or three of these a month that would involve some sort of extrication. We have a window which we try to achieve, uh, they call it the golden hour, in which we uh, try to get patients to a, a care facility. And if we were uh, taking a step back in time to the late 80s or early 90s when these tools started to come out, um, we would be, we'd be stepping back into that hour time frame where our goal is to have somebody out of there in a, in a shorter period of time. Uh, we start a five minute timer when we arrive on a working incident and our goal is to get them out as quickly as possible but using those benchmarks to help us get them out uh, very timely and, and we utilize these resources to their maximum. These uh, first responders, they're the heroes of our city and they, they find people sometimes they're unconscious, sometimes they're bleeding and it's just so important to get these people out of the vehicles and into the care of medical professionals as quickly as possible. But the one we, we wanted to kind of focus on today is our is distracted driving. Uh, people that are not necessarily paying attention to the road and their surroundings, but they're, uh, they're doing other things in the vehicle that take their attention off the road. So you're talking about texting, cell phone calls, um, you mentioned shaving, are people shaving on their way to work? And We've seen that, we've seen uh, people putting makeup on, eating a bowl of cereal, eating other food, uh, just things that ultimately take their mind and uh, hands off of the steering wheel and really distract their ability to see what's in front of them and be a, a defensive driver. Put the cell phones down and, and eyes on the roads and uh, you know, the, the jaws of life are here for us if, if we need them, but you just don't want to meet them. <laughs>